guys welcome to my channel all right so in today's video i'll be showing you how i prepare my green chili sauce okay so my vegetables are well washed and my hands are washed as well so i will take you through the ingredients as i prep them all right so stay tuned as i take you through so I'm chopping my spring onions okay so I have my bell pepper here I'm going to cut it and then chop it into desirable sizes as well so I'm taking the seeds out first so you can take this green chili sauce with your banku fried yam kenke or any other thing you want to eat it with okay so i have my onion here i'm going to chop it up too and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up if you like the video Kindly leave a comment in the comment section as well. Your suggestions, ideas are welcomed. It will really go a long way to help. Okay, so I'm done with the onions. I have some ginger here at this quantity. But you can twist the recipe to your preference, okay? Just be creative in the kitchen. Yeah. So, I'm chopping this as well. Okay. Okay, so I have some garlic here as well. And then I'll just chop the bigger one into smaller pieces. Okay, so I will pour the pakoshito, that's the green chilies, into the blender. And then I'll go ahead and add um, the chopped ingredients. So Everything is going into the blender. Okay, so after pouring everything into the blender, I'll just go ahead and add a little water and set the blender up for blending. Oh, blender, why? Why today? So, a person cannot come and play with you. Anyway, I have another option. I would go ahead and grind it in my earthenware bowl and my wooden masher. Yes. So, I'll transfer my chopped ingredients into the earthenware bowl and then grind it manually okay all right so now i'm adding a little salt to taste and continue grinding till it's a bit fine oh yeah a bit fine okay so after grinding for some time see what we have here 
I'm just going to pour a little coconut oil in my um, cooking pot and add my blended um, ingredients so I'll fry this on a low heat for some time to get some of the water out I actually do not intend keeping this for too long so I'm not going to fry it till all the water is dried out but you can if like you intend keeping it for a long time thanks for staying to the end and don't forget to subscribe because i'll be bringing more videos your way bye